Becoming a dad has always been something that I wanted to be. I remember driving home from university with my mom and I passed out sleeping and I woke up to her crying. I said to her, why are you crying? She's like, you're gay, you're never gonna have a child. I was with my surrogate along the whole way from doctor's appointments to ultrasounds. I held her right when she was born and haven't let go of her since. <laughs> yeah. I've actually been planning to have a child, to have Sophie for five years now. I looked at the healthcare system in Hamilton and what I needed to do to find a, an amazing doctor, which I'm glad I did. I met Daniel about five years ago when he first joined my practice. We talked about the fact that he'd like to start a family. What were his options and some advice about you know, what were these special things that he needed to think of as a gay man that might make that journey be a little bit more uh, complicated for him. Dr. Davis's team is very progressive. I find that when I go to Megan, she treats me like an equal. And that was one of the reasons that I chose Dr. Davis was because of how open she is with the community, how connected she is with the community. It's really important for us to create a space for our patients where they feel included, not judged, supported for all the patients that come, including our LGBTQ patients. So we had all of our staff and all of the healthcare providers, all the physicians, go to training that the Family Health Team offered through Rainbow Health Ontario. So we all went off-site and we had that afternoon of training and talked about things like pronouns, how important language is, to make our space feel safe. And then once we felt that we had that, then we put signs up. We were honest in saying this is a safe space for you, you'll be supported, you won't be judged. So that was our journey to make sure that not just the providers, but all the staff were supportive. The HFIT is tasked with trying to provide inclusive care for the entire population that we serve. Our committee started in 2012. We've been trying to work on an educational approach to provide culturally appropriate care for the LGBT population in Hamilton. This is not just about sexuality, it's also about anxiety and depression. Transitioning in the workplace is a, another key issue. I think it's an important role that the Hamilton Family Health Team is trying to fulfill. The feedback has been incredibly positive, and there's been some people who have said, I didn't know I didn't know this. How can I improve? So I view that as a big positive. We are actually making an impact. At least, if people don't know, they now have a resource. And I think what it boils down to is feeling that you can be your authentic self with your primary care provider. It's important for the LGBTQ community to have this kind of health care because it really opens up opportunities and allows people to come out and feel that they can be themselves in this community. We need to continue to engage our practitioners across the family health team. Our population needs care and our population needs to have the same health outcomes that everybody else expects from society.